Well, today was a day that started with some showers, but then it ended pleasantly. Let's check back in with First Alert meteorologist Kristen Emery and find out how this weekend will be. Kristen? It could be half and half, uh, Josh. We actually got through the Pirates game tonight. The Steelers practice rain free for the most part. Uh, only areas south of Pittsburgh had a couple of, air of uh, periods of rain, mainly Morgantown up to Uniontown. Now we have the last couple of these showers pushing in the Waynesburg and Washington areas, but we could see a couple of these redevelop overnight tonight, so don't be surprised if in the middle of the night you get awoken with another round of rain, and that will be the case as we head through the day tomorrow. You can see all of this activity that was swirling through central and western Ohio. That has begun to break up as well, so all of this uh, system losing its energy as the sun went down, but it'll redevelop tomorrow with the same sort of activity bubbling up. So as the temperatures are in the lower to mid 70s north of Pittsburgh. We're still in the upper 70s from Pittsburgh over to West Mifflin, 78, 79 degrees, only dropping down to about 70 for the overnight low. We head down to the tropics where we are watching the potential for tropical depression four. Now it just formed over Cuba and as it is going to make its way to the west overnight, they're watching along the coast of Florida, the Keys and really the whole southeastern US. If you have any beach plans for the next couple of days, you want to stay weather aware because this is going to most likely uh, head just to the west of Key West and then become a tropical storm by the time we get to Sunday morning and then make landfall along the northwest Florida coast, head up past Savannah, Charleston, West Virginia, Myrtle Beach, and then eventually the Outer Banks. Right now, it's looking like winds could only get maybe up to about 40 to 50 miles per hour, so not a huge storm as far as potential, but a lot of rain and wind on the way. Right now, we are looking at just a little bit of scattered shower activity. We could see this redevelop overnight, but tomorrow morning when you wake up, mixture of clouds, a few peaks of sun, we could see a little bit of morning rain. Most of the late morning is is going to be dry. It's when we get the heating of the day. Here you see one o'clock on Futurecast between around 1 and 4 p.m. is when we have the best chance for seeing some of these heavy downpours bubble up. And then later tomorrow evening, this whole big low pressure center that's been giving us rounds of rain that heads off to the east. We're left with drier but hotter weather on Sunday. Temperatures getting up to the mid 80s at least in many areas to the north and possibly upper 80s close to 90 areas south of I-70. More rain to come, possibly another half to three quarters of an inch of rain by the time we get to Sunday morning. Scattered showers tonight, patchy fog early tomorrow morning, the low only 70 and then we're up to 84 tomorrow. A very seasonable day as far as our highs go, normal highs 83, but those scattered showers and storms possible afternoon into the evening, it's hot Sunday, Monday, and then a big cool down later next week.